Sunday, super fans. I hope you had a great week. Speaking of super fans, uh, did your favorite NFL team win the Super Bowl last Sunday? Mine didn't because, honestly, I don't know anything about football. But I did get to see some hilarious commercials, and the halftime show with The weekend was pretty sweet. This month, we are talking about kindness. So let's say this definition together. Kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. Last week, we talked about the reason that we should be kind in the first place. We can be kind to others because God is kind to us. But if we're honest, I think all of us would admit that it isn't always easy to be kind. In fact, sometimes it's the hardest to be kind to the people who are closest to us, like our family and friends. And you might think, oh, well, if you only knew my brother the way I do, you would not expect me to be kind to him. But it is possible to be kind to the people who are closest to us. And the story of Ruth in the Bible shows us how. This story starts out with a lot of people. So let me make some introductions. Meet Naomi. Naomi had a husband and two sons. Naomi and her family were from Judah. But there wasn't enough food there, so they traveled to the land of Moab. And while they were in Moab, unfortunately, Naomi's husband died. But both of Naomi's sons got married. One married a girl named Orpah, and the other married a girl named Ruth. Sadly, both of Naomi's sons also died. And that only left Orpah, Ruth, and Naomi. Naomi heard that there was once again food in her land of Judah. And since her husband and her sons had died, Naomi decided to go back. So Naomi told Ruth and Orpah to go back to their homes. So Orpah left. But Ruth said that she would stay with Naomi. Listen to what Ruth said. Don't try to make me leave you and go back. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Naomi tried to convince Ruth to stay in her homeland, but she soon realized that Ruth was determined to come with her. So the two women left for Naomi's hometown, Bethlehem, in Judah. In Bethlehem, there lived a man named Boaz. Boaz was related to Naomi, and he owned fields of grain. So Ruth and Naomi needed food. So Ruth went to the nearby fields to try and get some grain. And as you might have guessed, she went to the fields that belonged to Boaz. God had made a law that when landowners harvested a field, they were supposed to leave some grain behind for the people who might need some food. So Ruth was able to gather food for herself and for Naomi. Boaz noticed the new woman in the fields, and so he asked the man who was in charge of his workers who the woman was, and he learned that she was the daughter-in-law of Naomi. So Boaz had heard about Ruth and how kind she was to Naomi. So he went to Ruth and told her that she could freely gather grain from his fields. And here's what he said in Ruth 2, 8 and 9. Dear woman, listen to me. Don't pick up grain in any other field. Don't go anywhere else. Stay here with the women who work for me. Keep your eye on the field where the men are who are cutting grain. Walk behind the women who are gathering it. Pick up the grain that is left. I told the men not to bother you. When you are thirsty, go and get something to drink. Take water from the jars that the men have filled. Boaz even gave Ruth some bread and roasted grain to eat. And at the end of the day, Ruth was able to bring a large amount of food home to Naomi.
So Ruth continued to work in Boaz's fields until the end of the grain harvest. Naomi knew that God had set up a special way for Boaz to rescue their family. So she told Ruth to visit Boaz in secret. Boaz woke up in the middle of the night and he saw Ruth. And Ruth asked him to give her protection, since according to their culture, he was responsible for their family. So Boaz told Ruth that he would help her, but there was another family member who was more closely related to Naomi than he was. So Boaz went to find the man and the town elders to see if he could buy Naomi's land and marry Ruth. And the man agreed. Boaz and Ruth got married. So through the kindness of Boaz and Ruth, Naomi now had a brand new home. A short time later, Boaz and Ruth had a baby, and his name was Obed. Obed later had a son named Jesse, who was the father of King David. Then King David had sons and grandsons and so on and so on. And then many years later, Jesus was born as a part of their family. It's amazing to see how God can use our kindness to accomplish God's plan. Ruth was kind to Naomi when she chose to stay with her. Boaz showed kindness to Ruth and Naomi by providing for them. Eventually, Jesus, the Son of God, was born into their family. Boaz, Ruth, and Naomi were kind to their family and friends, and it resulted in the birth of our Savior. So we can choose to do that too. Remember, be kind to your family and friends.